Hey, this is Redbeard, and this adventure... Oh, hold on a second. Oh, hey, Dan. Oh, you liked my, my Sturgis video? Oh, always wanted to go? Yeah, I, I, I could plan something. Yeah, I could take two weeks off. Go to Sturgis. Wow, now we have to plan a trip to ride our motorcycles. 1,300 miles one way and have a place to stay when we get there. Have you ever planned a trip to the world's largest motorcycle rally? In this video, I'll share a little bit about how I plan this trip, its execution, and then show some of the exciting things we did. The last one is a must-do epic adventure. My planning is not starting from scratch. The previous year, Two Wheels Big Life invited me to join them at Sturgis. I rode with their youngest son from Nashville, Tennessee to Sturgis, South Dakota, where they hosted. It was an amazing time getting to know them and a couple of their friends. I also learned enough about the area to plan a trip. Thanks again, Rich and Chris. I don't think we've ever really introduced everybody, but when Max got here, he also had a riding buddy with him that actually rode with him all the way from Tennessee, and that's Joshua Smith, a.k.a. Redbeard, and he came in on a beautiful yellow Goldwing. All right, let's get this big question out of the way. Goldwing riders have no problems at Sturgis. I was a little worried when I first went, uh, but the second time, I saw even more Goldwing riders. When Max and I rode to Sturgis, we had a basic plan of how to get there. We would ride until we needed to stop and find a hotel or a campground. We made it in two days, camping once along the way. For my dad and uncle, they wanted to make it a three-day trip, uh, so there needed to be more planning. I used freecampsites.net and hipcamp.com to figure out where to camp. We threw some of that out the window and found a great place to camp in Odessa, Missouri. I set it up so we only had one reservation so we could have some flexibility, because there is a stretch of South Dakota where accommodations are limited. One of the amazing things that happen when you ride a great distance, you meet great people. <laughs> All right, so t tell me what you're doing. Okay, so my name is Zuzu and I'm traveling North America in this, if you see me, please honk. And I just help, I give seminars all over uh, North America on how to reverse disease at home and how your body works. A lot of people don't know how it works, so that's what I'm doing. All right, I good to it. meet you. And I got to meet all my motorcycle friends because you're everywhere this week and there's like <laughs> thousands and thousands of them. So I'm like, can I take a picture with all of you in front of my vehicle? And they're like, yeah. So I got to meet Joshua. It's his birthday today. So be happy birthdaying him in the <laughs> YouTube comments, guys. This is amazing. So our last day of riding the Sturgis, we met Zuzu, went to Wall Drug, ate at Badlands Saloon and Grill, enjoyed 111 degrees, Saw a wedding in the Badlands and uh, set up camp at Sturgis View. It was a busy day on the road. If you've never been to Sturgis, you may not believe how much there is to do. In addition to lots of bikes, motorcycle demonstrations, parts and accessories, there's a museum, places to hang out and meet new people, motorcycles to ride. I mean, we spent a whole day test riding motorcycles and even a Vanderhall. Apart from the rally itself, there's plenty to do in the Black Hills. Mount Rushmore, the Crazy Horse Memorial, Geometric Center of the U.S., and history. Especially Wild West history. I really enjoy Deadwood. One of my favorite things of the area is the riding. Iron Mountain Road and Needles Highway are two roads you need to ride, especially the pigtail bridges. This is, I just love these bridges though. We ended our trip by adding some rides just outside the Black Hills. We saw Devil's Tower and the Little Bighorn Battlefield on our way to Red Lodge, Montana. Our camping spot just south of Red Lodge was next to Rock Creek. It was a little cold that night, but what a view. The reason for this night away from Sturgis was so we could ride a road that has been on my list for a very long time. 
Beartooth Highway. It is impassable for most of the year, and it is spectacular. After a short visit to Cook City, we headed down the Chief Joseph Scenic Byway, which was a beautiful road to get to Cody, then Buffalo, Wyoming, and back to Sturgis. Our last night at Sturgis View Campground was very quiet. It really does clear out after the rally. A trip home was a two-day trip. Uh, we made it all the way back to the Owl Creek Campground in Odessa, Missouri in one day. So day two was home. We kept our costs down by primarily cooking at the campsite and on the road, a little meal prep prior to leaving, and lots of cast iron cooking. This was an amazing trip. If you're planning a trip to Sturgis and would like some input, comment on this video. I'd love to talk more with you about it. Until my next adventure. Oh, hold on. Hey, Dan. You want to do an iron boat ride? Why not?